with us right now is Coach Mike. He's here from Crossover Sports Canada. He has a lot of different titles. Let's talk to him just about the Philippines trip that he just came from. Coach Mike, oops, thank you for being here with us. Yeah, thank you also mm -hmm. for having me. Uh, so basically, uh, yes, we just came, uh, came back from the Philippines last March. Uh, we had two tournaments that we joined in, mm -hmm. the SMNBTC and the Second Dreamers International Boys Under-18 Basketball Challenge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And tell us about how was that, was your second time going? Yeah, it was our second year for the NBTC. How was your first time that you went there? How was your First year was a heartbreaker. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> so we, lost, we lost by a dagger, you know. We were Why? up for the game, then, you know, suddenly when we lost by a point, yeah. by a buzzer beater. So oh. it was really yeah. hard for us. And it was our first time, so there's mm -hmm. so many lessons learned mm -hmm. on how we do things, how we practice and everything. Mm -hmm. Second time was also a heartbreaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's more of, ano eh, it's more of... Parang drama. <laughs> parang drama to to, parang drama. Kasi first game also, we were up against Mapua. Mm -hmm. We're ahead throughout the game, then suddenly we collapsed on the, on the last few minutes, we lost by two. Mm -hmm. And then there was a big chance for us still to, to enter the semis because in the second game we faced New Zealand mm -hmm. and we beat them up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on the third game, we are to face FEU, who was the UF champion at that time. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we didn't play at the MOA. Mm -hmm. oh. So we played outside of MOA, so it was so very hot. Yeah. So oh, yung mga bata wasn't able to yeah, adjust dun sa, oh. no, dun sa, dun sa, sa temperature. It's oh. really hot. It's really humidity, hot. Humidity, di ba? It's, oh. it's not just, ano, parang you're playing inside the sauna talaga. Oh. First quarter, uh, yeah, first, I think until second quarter, we're, we're still ahead. Mm -hmm. But come the third quarter, oh, we, have the, we, have, we have nothing left oh. in the tank. So. How does yeah. the format work? So if you lose once, you're out? How, my point is, uh, we back. were grouped into... Uh, two groups mm -hmm. um, and then whoever is the top two enters the semifinals. Oh, top two lang. So that game against FEU was a, a do or die for us and for them. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it's just that we really, I, I, I believe personally, I believe that we could have beaten them. Mm -hmm. But it's just because that we played outside of MOA, which is really oh, so hard. I mean, we're coming from a winter court. time. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. I mean, hindi talaga namin kinaya. Third oh. quarter, suko na kami, mm -hmm. oh. yung mga bata. Yeah. And how, how, what were the, your players' experience? Because I guess some of them, that's their first time going to the Philippines yes, and yes. playing basketball. So, so yung, yung part of the team was, half of it was been there oh, been previously. There, yeah. So oh. those kids are no so ready what to expect. Mm -hmm. So they're prepared, they're really, they really know mm -hmm. they're gonna be get hit. Mas familiar so, sila. Mas familiar sila sa type of play. Physicality ng yeah. basketball yeah. sa Philippines. Now there are two iba? players iba? na, or three players who are Bago, so mm -hmm. medyo nag-adjust pa rin. Uh, uh. But I mean, overall, I think that experience on the NBTC was really good for us. Mm -hmm. Coaches were really impressed with what we have done. Um, sabi nila, because there were four international teams. Mm -hmm. wow. So sabi nila, uh, on paper, US ang pinakamalakas na mm -hmm. team uh -huh. internationally. But as we played, DC Canada much much better than those three other teams. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yun lang ang ano namin take naman. And after the tournament or while well, do during the tournament, especially after we lost that first game, there were so many interest. First game we lost. Mm -hmm. On the second game it was our game was at eight o'clock in the morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. most of the coaches were there <laughs> wow. to watch to us. Watch. No way. Because they heard oh Mapua should have lost. Mm. Uh -huh. to Canada. Yeah. But you know what? Iba yeah. naman ang palaro sa Pilipinas. Eh. Oh, so yeah. there are other factors na, oh. na could have let us won. Pero yun, pero usap-usapan doon, oh, they were surprised Canada give oh. Mapua a hard time. Yeah. Uh, they, they just, I mean, parang sinasabi nila, sinuerte lang. Yan, <laughs> But I mean, Chamba. we lost. Yeah. There's no excuse yeah. for no that. Excuse, yeah. Pero that's what you want. You want that exposure to the kids. Yeah? Yeah. So how did How did you enter the tournament? Like, how did that happen? I guess, how did you guys able to get into the NBTC, which yeah. is what? It's National a prestigious Basketball tournament. Yes, yeah. it is the it's most prestigious high school tournament back home. Ano? Kasi, mm -hmm. uh, it's being played for the whole country. There are regional qualifiers, mm -hmm. may champ, may tapos championship. Tapos whoever gets 
the top 24 usually goes to Manila and wow. play for for the for the for the crown, right? Mm -hmm. So I can say na siguro swerte lang that we were able to ano, <laughs> say, I mean, Cause a shortcut din, right? Cause, it, it was oh. it was it just it just so happened that I used friends, oh. contacts back home na you know what? I have a group of uh, players here na magagaling na, na potential, ganun. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give us a chance to play back home mm -hmm. to see them. You know? So I've sent them videos. Mm -hmm. I send them news clippings about us. Mm -hmm. And then they were in. The, they were actually initially they were considering us to play for Division Two. Mm -hmm. So I just told them, you know what? What we're looking for are exposure for the kids. Because oh. I know you guys are all always looking at the states for mm -hmm. look for players, right? For players to bring into. But I mean, player. we're here. We're, we're Canadians, but we're here. To, we're here and ready to play. So, mm -hmm. ayon, we were given a chance to play, uh, not last year but the other year. Mm -hmm. Na okay, we'll give you a chance. Then we played. Nakita nila and na. And then nakita you guys nila can, na. Like, I mean, we can play here. Whoa, whoa. when we lost right. to Chiang Kai Shek. Chiang Kai Shek uh -huh. was the champion That's in the 2014, beater, right? yeah. and it was only a buzzer beat. Wow, mm -hmm. we were way ahead. We were mm -hmm. that, that's why kaya nga, when we lost that game, talagang bagsa kami lahat yung ano mm -hmm. namin, yung hope namin. That's surprising yung sana sila kung napanalo. Oh, no, no, <laughs> the no, first no. team to come, uh, like, yes. you know, from Canada and just went all the way through. Because you're the, you were the only foreign team last year, or no? There was another. Uh, there was another team okay. from Canada, from Thailand. Thailand. Oh, okay. But we were the first two international teams. That mm -hmm. was actually accepted to play for the NBTC. Mm -hmm. First wow. time nilang ginawa yun. Wow. Just to check us out. So, baka next year, mar mas madami international teams. We're, we're actually, wow. we're Eric and I. I mean, by the way, I would like to thank Eric Altimarano mm -hmm. no, for he's the one who's instrumental on bringing us there. No? Mm -hmm. Malaking utang na loob natin mm -hmm. sa kanya. So, yes, we were talking then after the tournament. Uh, um, so, what are we going to do next, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, there are more interest right now. I, I heard people from Dubai. Wow. Wanted to join too, and and and, I, and the, we're thinking we're thinking of probably we're gonna separate an international tournament mm. to get represented by a Philippine team mm. because they've seen they've seen how good we are, na man, eh, na mm. we can compete with with yeah. those teams. Mm. Siguro yung New Zealand konti pa, mm -hmm. but basically with us, US, Australia, they see that we can really compete. Mm -hmm. I mean, speaking of like, sinabi nyo, you know, a lot of Filipino, uh, Philippines are, are interested in international uh, players because they want to see the talent because they see that people can play here. Yeah. Um, you know, so explain naman our story naman na kay Brandon Ocampo. Tell us about the story about, you know, the good news, all the things that are coming up to him because we had him in our show mm -hmm. recently. So, man, dito siya, nag, ano, sinabi nyo yung story niya, mm -hmm. his story about his playing basketball and what his dreams and goals in basketball. Sabi nyo naman po yung good news na nangyari na sa kanya. Brandon na. Ramirez. So, Brandon, uh, Brandon yes, Ramirez. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yun nga, yeah. after our game, so yeah. it opened the doors for Filipino Canadians yeah. to be scouted, right? Mm -hmm. So they've seen that, oh, there's talent here pala in Canada. Mm -hmm. So, during that actual, uh, after the tournament, we had so many interests already from schools. Ateneo, UP, most of the players has interest. And then, of course, they coordinated with me, looking for players. So I, I told them there are more or less of players back home. Mm -hmm. You just have to, I mean, come and look at that. So, mm -hmm. ang ginawa ko is I sent some video clips of mm -hmm. Brandon Ramirez. Mm -hmm. Then I set up a video conference with him and the team management of Ateneo. Then, uh, tomorrow, we'll go to Chicago. Wow. For him to be watched and hopefully get the the commitment or the offer to play for Ateneo. There's mm -hmm. one kid also, Robert Ocampo. Mm -hmm. uh, just today, he accepted the offer to play for uh, De La Salle Saint, College of St. Benilde. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. congrats. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's opening it's opening some opportunities for our kids here in Canada. Oh, wow. yeah. And there are, I think, three or four more. Wow. wow. Waiting on the line, just waiting for the right time to, to decide. <laughs> to decide yeah. And if you didn't know, those two schools, Ateneo and La Salle, they're, they're, they're top schools. They're top schools. So they're it's not like, schools. if they commit, it's not like it's just a random school. And wow. the Philippines people know that school. Yeah. Talk to us about, you did win though. You did win a yes, championship. Yes, the second tournament. So, <laughs> second yeah. tournament. There's a lot of drama, but you celebrated. Yes, say, yes. You, you won a gold medal. Talk about that tournament or... Yes, yeah, so, so after NBTC, yeah. we had another invite, which is the second Dreamers International, where mm -hmm. we face international teams from Guam, mm -hmm. from Australia, from the US, I think it's from Virginia, mm -hmm. and then some from local teams. 
So it's not as big as uh, NBTC, NBTC, but I mean, the quality is there. Mm-hmm. They're probably uh, for three teams na uh, talaga magaling din. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, we're uh, lucky enough to, to win that tournament. Mm-hmm. So it was a good wow. thing for us kasi wow. that tournament was really good. Kasi after you play, you get to go to... Kasi it held on the resort eh. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, oh, I mean, after, yeah. the, after the game, relax, relax ka. Relax, okay. oh, go out, yeah, swim. Yeah. There's so many things to do. There's a uh, batis aramin. So, yeah. oh. In, in, in lockdown kaya so so <laughs> di mainit <laughs> doon oh, 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 so even though it was played oh, on uh, yeah. covered court so di mainit naman. so hindi kami nag-adjust mm-hmm. yeah tayo so saka siguro tingin ko uh, kasi yung uwi namin masyado madalian eh oh, so doon siguro nag-pick yung mga bata mm-hmm. doon sa tournament na yun kaya nung pagdating namin sa sa second dreamer sa Bati Saramin Talagang alam nila na team to beat yung Canada kasi of what we have done sa NBTC. NBTC. Mm. So we don't have a lot of time. What would you say kung, kung if there's athletes watching now and you you helped organize this movement? What would you like to say to the parents or to potential players that maybe, prospects, the, prospects the, that the want to, to maybe showcase their skills to the Philippines? What would you say to them? Well, I guess I can say is we have opened the doors. Uh, they have interest. They have really good interest on us. Uh, work on your passports. <laughs> you need dual citizenship. You need to get a passport before you're 16 because we're also talking to Batangilas mm. and they're interested on in our players too. So uh, keep playing, keep playing hard, you know, work on your craft. We're here to help you. Hopefully there'll be uh, more NBTs in the future, more tournaments. Actually, we got, just recently I got an invite from, uh, from Malaysia to play under 16. Wow. So things are Things are really bright, mm. so I mean, let's hope for the best, and uh, hopefully there'll be more more opportunities for us here.